Okay, session number six. I'll talk about hardware requirements for SIF tester. Uh, SIF tester can run on both a uh, real server, uh, dedicated server, uh, PC or laptop, mm -hmm. or on virtual virtual server Large on server. Uh, mm -hmm. Amazon uh, web uh, Windows service uh, Windows server. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, virtual private servers, uh, which are cheaper than dedicated servers with mm -hmm. Windows. Uh, and, uh, hardware requirements, requirements are here in, on website. Uh, well, the, these are not, uh, Requirements, but uh, actual test of uh, hardware okay. um, that we did before. So, uh, SIP tester can run on uh, Windows uh, Windows Seven. Uh, no, no, on from Windows X, XP uh, till okay. Windows Ten. Um, uh, client, uh, client operating system and from Windows, uh, server 2003 to, uh, Windows server 2016. So, okay. Almost on any Windows and on 32 Windows server, yeah. Or 64 bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 60, 64 bits uh, and 64 bits uh, is much better. It allows allows to use more operating uh, system memory, uh, more memory. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, here are results of previous tests. Um, uh, it is. Did, it was dedicated server or, or in office, uh, just regular desktop PC mm -hmm. with uh, regular in, in single CPU, uh, four cores, mm -hmm. and uh, here is CPU model. And for every CPU model, perform maximum performance will be different, and uh, it is not mm -hmm. possible to. Um, to tell what will be maximum capacity of, of the server. And it's like an example okay. of maximum performance for different uh, machines. Uh, it can run on mm -hmm. a laptop. And these are numbers uh, mm -hmm. of maximum channels. Uh, also, performance mm -hmm. depends on uh, uh, ColXML script uh, or configuration of the test. If you do a recording, mm -hmm. for example, um, uh, RTP recording, uh, debug media recording, it, mm -hmm. it will allow less number of channels. And uh, recording performance also depends on disk. Uh, it was a laptop with uh, slow, um, simple hard drive. A single hard drive, no SSD, mm -hmm. uh, and it was mm -hmm. only 150 G711 channels, and uh, there was overload in, in disk. Uh, when mm -hmm. people purchase a SIP tester, they ask, uh, what will be performance with this server? What will be performance with that server? I, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It's not possible to tell exact numbers, but uh, I tell them mm -hmm. uh, you can purchase but move license later to a different server, more more powerful, mm -hmm. uh, if performance is not enough. Uh, they move license for free. Uh, it, because okay. it, it's very uh, hard to predict performance. It depends on network uh, mm -hmm. network um, interface driver also 
there are some configurations. Okay. And there is uh, an item in frequently asked questions about the performance. Uh, Here, uh, there is a web page with frequently asked questions and uh, performance issues. Uh, why is CPU throttled, throttled by a SIP tester? There are recommendations to uh, reduce CPU load and uh, mm -hmm. When customers purchase SIP tester and run on a server, they see that CPU is overloaded. And uh, first idea is to purchase a different server, more powerful. But before purchasing, uh, we mm -hmm. recommend them to uh, first try to configure SIP tester. If it is a simple test with uh, just making call, and playing audio. Uh, the people can use uh, setting lightweight media processing equals one. Mm -hmm. And it, it will not allow a recording to web file uh, or only playback. Uh, also, uh, okay. in, uh, and there are many recommendations. Uh, turn off CDR. Um, display and uh, just main main thing to do is to go to settings I'll show in SIP tester go to settings uh, operation mode set it to uh, lightweight or win pickup only RTP sender and receiver this is the fastest operation mode. Um, okay, and okay. the next thing uh, to do is to purchase additional um, additional network cards. Um, so um, on my local server, I have multiple network adapters. Uh, and it is possible mm -hmm. to distribute uh, SIP and RCP load across um, multiple network adapters. And there are network adapters with one device and four, four gigabit ports, which is cheap, okay. uh, I Intel adapter. And uh, model number mm -hmm. is... Uh, is also described here. It's here. Intel i three five zero. Okay. The network card. Okay. Network card. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. And this the configuration is described in detail. Uh, it, uh, it describes how to distribute RTP load across four um, four IP addresses. Uh, custom call XML script is used, and uh, you see here local RTP address is uh, mm -hmm. selected uh, sequentially uh, from four from these four values. Uh, and this configuration allows to achieve uh, 8,000 G711 uh, channels at one time. Okay. That's uh, very good. Mm -hmm. uh, what? Uh, it needs call XML script. We'll talk about the call XML later mm -hmm. here also. Um, uh, and on virtual servers, um, on virtual server, it depends on the configuration of virtual machine. It uh, allows of uh, 
it, it depends on uh, host host machine and uh, okay. we have reports from customers uh, some customer achieved this performance on VMware virtual machine mm -hmm. uh, and uh, here is a script it was lightweight media processing mode virtual box platform uh, usually it is not 2000 uh, it is usually um, with a single network adapter and one IP address it, it is about four four hundred and fifty maximum concurrent calls with G711 call okay with G729 uh, codec it will be more channels because it takes uh, it's more channels because it takes less uh, bandwidth. Mm -hmm. But number okay, of packets, yeah. number of RTP packets per second is same because packet time is 20 milliseconds. Uh, number of packets per second is, yeah. is main bottleneck mm -hmm. in this test. Is uh, sending RTP yeah, packets, yeah. sending RTP packets, and, and uh, mm. uh, network driver is overloaded not by actual bandwidth, but number of packets per so second. RTP. Packets per okay, second. G seven to nine. People also can uh, customers can increase p time, and mm -hmm. in this way reduce total number of uh, uh, send packets per second. Packet will be uh, larger. Uh, if uh, p time is packet time, if you know from RTP, uh, RTP pa packet. I don't remember uh, time sorted by time uh, packet time. Okay, RTP TX packet time. Delay between RTP mm -hmm. packets and RTP packet duration. Default it is 20. It's like most mm -hmm. commonly used P time. It can be in, increased up to 50, 50 milliseconds. Okay. okay. Uh, about performance, uh, what else? Uh, uh, or on Windows um, server operating system performance was greater than on Windows 7 but on Windows 8 Windows 8 mm -hmm. uh, the Microsoft changed something and it became much better with Windows 8 and now Mm -hmm. Windows 10 it's it's also good. Uh it has to be tested every time. Uh also there is mm -hmm. such setting um affinity uh pre optimize uh, where is it written? Uh well uh when People run a test, start start test. Uh, they should go to C when CPU is overloaded. It, uh, they should go to uh, CPU chart. Okay. This is, uh, there are eight CPU cores. Uh, eight. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, what we see here that core number one, two, three, four, number four, number four and number mm -hmm. uh, six, they are not six. Yeah. Uh, now they are used, but there can be different picture when some core is overloaded, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, rest of cores are not uh, not not lo loaded equally. Uh, and mm -hmm. uh, it is possible to distribute um, load across CPUs. We see that core number zero uh, 
it's most common situation because core number zero is overloaded by uh, operating uh, system by network driver uh, to receive RTP uh, things. Uh, it is overloaded yeah. by system and in SIP tester it is possible to remove load f away from core number zero. In settings, uh, okay. uh, settings are called affinity, affinity mask settings. And it, it is an example. Uh, don't use core number zero, uh, one 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 zero. This is setting for okay. uh, four cores, four four um, digits. Four CPUs. Four four CPUs. And on this machine, it should be one 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 uh, four one, two, three, seven and zero. Uh, this should be a setting to remove load away from core number zero, and it requires okay. restart the setting. Uh, for C thread, for audio verification and RTP, uh, same settings, uh, affinity settings, and also what uh, what's important. It is important if possible to purchase a server not with eight cores uh, um, these are eight virtual cores uh, um, one physical core is divided into two uh, virtual core uh, they call it threads four cores and eight threads and it's better to purchase CPU with uh, four threads and four cores, it, it, it will be better. Uh, do, do you understand this? I mean, uh, yeah, so uh, if we go to, uh, for example, um, mm -hmm. uh, so you source dot com, uh, the mm -hmm. hosting provider servers uh how to select be better server um select when you purchase server okay it displays cpu you see, four yeah, how many cores? cores and uh, eight, yeah, I know. Eight yeah, four threads. cores. Eight threads. It's better mm -hmm. not to use eight threads, but four cores and and four threads. Uh, okay. For example, this this is good. Uh, uh, this is good. Uh, yeah, yeah, same yeah. number. Exactly. Yeah. This this CPU. I tested this CPU and it, mm -hmm. it was good because. Uh, um poor cpu load was high was higher than um okay so from sip tester you can uh, equal the equal the load right uh, for all uh, all the sorry, cores sorry uh, microphone something wrong with microphone again uh. okay uh, uh -huh. is it okay now can you hear yes yes now it's better okay so uh, okay for so from sip tester you can like um, you, Equally distribute the loads on the on the it's course, right? Because here is a you can uh, uh, from SIP tester you uh, SIP tester has multiple threads and it mm -hmm. uh, multiple media threads and it distributes uh, load across multiple threads. The course, right? And okay, okay. by running a test, you can go and see actual picture of CPU load. And usually it is not mm -hmm. equal as it was defined by SIP tester. Because operating okay. system runs on core number zero, uh, something else. And based on this picture, mm -hmm. you uh, modify affinity settings in SIP tester. Okay. Uh, with uh, affinity settings. And see it again okay. in C in CPU.
Okay. Okay. And better to purchase servers with mm -hmm. four cores. With the same number. Four, four cores. Four, yeah. well, this is and higher CPU frequency. This is better. Mm -hmm. uh, this is worse. Better to purchase. Uh, prefer higher frequency Four. over a higher number of cores. It it, mm -hmm. it will be better for performance. Uh, because uh, okay. I don't control how Windows sends. Uh, how Windows uses network drivers and it looks like they have one they can use only one core per adapter uh, okay and if you have uh, 16 cores and only two adapters mm -hmm. it will not mm -hmm. use all 16 cores for this yeah it, it will use just two just two and with frequency two gigahertz and uh, mm -hmm. higher frequency is preferred. Oh, okay, hosting. Uh, did what else I can say here? Virtual servers, Amazon. Yeah, it's possible. It runs there, and uh, it has to be tested. It, it it's good uh, actually. It's good. Mm -hmm. I think about fifty. 50% of CPTS customers use virtual servers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next yeah. thing. Okay, next thing. Uh, web API. Um, CPTS has a, a desktop a GUI. It has web interface. It has mm -hmm. a command line interface and it has web API. And web API is is used uh, to integrate it with something. Uh, so uh, some some something can send uh, API calls to tester for example to make and this is used for automation uh, it could be automated unit test framework uh, anything can be here it can be customers software uh, some big system so, some big system uh, for example, customer can have some existing software system, and they just need pip test features to to be mm -hmm. added into their uh, current system. So they can integrate pip tester through API to extend mm -hmm. uh, extend their system. API mm -hmm. API calls are described in tutorial uh, tutorial web API here API okay We need to first set up web authentication. Mm -hmm. uh, it goes over HTTP API, and we need to set up passwords mm -hmm. for the for HTTP access for for current SIP tester. Okay, go to main page. <coughs> okay, now we have access to web. And in mm -hmm. uh, HTTP tester, it, it is free tool, just, just very simple HTTP tester. We use it to test our uh, API. Um, it sends HTTP requests. 
Okay, we send to local host to uh, HTTP port number and according to um, documentation, I will okay. explain how, how to how to create a call through API. Okay, this is URL. Control C. Uh, HTTP tester. Instead of HTTP tester, there should be customer's system. It could be CRM, for example, to make call, uh, to make a test. It could be some source switch. Okay, I create a call. I'll just write to log, write something to log, log value equals test from API. It is not a real tip call, just test call XML. Okay, and I send mm -hmm. single request. Completed, and it, it receives a result in JSON. Uh, this is JSON response format. Yeah. Uh, this API could, can be called from browser, from some web page, for example. Uh, yeah. it, it works. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. For example, with so HTML it works, right? Uh, what? Sorry. Huh? HTML, like uh, you can call yeah, this API yeah, from, too, right? From HTML, from HTML, we we had, a, yeah, we had a project when. Customer needed to integrate test features into, into a website, and on a website mm -hmm. they put uh, JavaScript code, uh, AJAX, AJAX code. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there is a video on YouTube uh, for uh, cl click to call uh, uh, on our website thirdtrinity.com. Uh, click to call, click to call HTML button mm -hmm. sends. Uh, Sends API request. Okay. Uh, setting. Okay. This is HTML and it sends. Uh, it sends first. It first authenticates. Well, there is an. It's mm -hmm. an example for developers and it uses. Um, same API, create call post, and it passes caller mm -hmm. ID, uh, destination number. It makes calls directly from browser, and it sends call XML, call XML to SIP tester. And SIP tester can run, for this purpose, it should run not in GUI mode, not as a desktop application, because server restarts and SIP tester is closed. It should run as a service. Uh, as a service, and there is a bad file to install it as a service. SIP tester ser service install. Here is a command line to install it, SIP tester as a service. It will start with Windows and run in background with okay. the AC web interface and a web API interface. Okay, we okay. I I created uh, a request. One more test from API again. So it works. It works. Just call API call. Now I want to mm -hmm. make some call. Call value equals um, zip, uh, just some number, at uh, some IP address. And caller ID equals something. Uh, and max ring time equals 10 seconds. Create API request and 
you see it creates a call uh, and it sends invite so it works it creates a call and the call failed mm -hmm. invite is not answered uh, I will display fields uh, uh, it's not clear uh, caller ID is not clear in CDR and it's here this direct direction caller ID called ID okay yeah one two three one two three it is correct exactly what we call mm -hmm. okay and the call fails uh, with no response uh, how do we get results from the from the API because now I create and it responds okay successful but the call is not succeeded uh, call has not succeeded but the result is okay okay means that uh, call was created with this call uh, call ID zip call ID mm -hmm. how to get the results and results are empty okay uh, it is described in documentation for web API mm -hmm. uh, web API it could be used by web developers who don't uh, who don't want to develop some uh, their own code system but when web developer needs to quickly make uh, some zip call from directly from web page or from web application mm -hmm. they can use API uh, okay there is a parameter wait for exit uh, it, it will wait for e completion of call XML script. Copy, uh, I'll copy and put this uh, element into XML uh, uh, into URL. Uh, it is URL parameter. Wait for exit equals true, and I will put uh, an element. Uh, to pass the results from call uh, set web API result it is in call XML documentation set web API result passes some key value result result to web API okay mm -hmm. I put it into web into my HTTP tester put some results uh what key value was yeah key and value <coughs> key equals uh for example my result one uh, value equals uh something x y z Let, let's test like this like this uh okay i send and it waits it waits for uh completion mm -hmm. and it is complete in 10 10 okay. seconds okay. and response you see my my result xyz uh do you understand this concept yeah kind of yeah uh yeah okay good web api result and now i want to mm -hmm. uh, i want to pass zip zip uh, zip codes to to web api result uh, how do i see uh, the result of of a call it is here um, in in call xml documentation 
call there is events there is an event raises events uh, call failure events and mm -hmm. also max ring time events and in call XML, I will I will handle these two events inside call. Uh, I didn't talk about the events before. Call XML events. Okay. So this event, when uh, timer is expired, is um, it looks like an event ma maximum re max ring time on and it is handled inside the element call where this event is uh, raised it raises the event and it goes into handler mm -hmm. uh, and here we will set web API results set web API results um, let's call it call result equals uh, and just something uh, anything what is defined by developer uh, some okay. be uh, max be ringing timeout ringing timeout also max call failure event Call failure. Okay, and we test. We don't see result, but we see error in log. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not an error. Something doesn't work now. Maybe XML script. I script is not should, right. We should put ex exit. I think exit. It waits for exit, but there is no exit. Ah. Oh, I see. There was a response. Timeout. Yeah, there was. Yeah, call XML script is not completed. It, it was not, not completed. completed. Okay. There was no exit. Uh, I'll try again now. Okay. Okay, now. Completed. Ringing, yeah. ringing timeout. Ringing timeout. <laughs> Max ring time. Max ring time. Yeah. Okay. What if I make a call to uh, start Trinity? Six. Receive tester on mm -hmm. Neverland server. Neverland. Neverland. Okay. Yeah. Not, and uh, I'll connect to that server. Uh, we have Fib Tester Neverland server. This will be call failure, right? And we will simulate call uh, call failure, right? Uh, simulate uh, yeah. not not accept, but we will reject. 
value equals uh, what five zero three for example it will be rejected mm -hmm. immediately and exit on the server and we make call to Neverland server okay we see result call result result is call failure call failure okay but I also want to see the SIP, SIP status code and call failure SIP status code um, how I access SIP uh, status code uh, call call maybe call SIP status code and I need to put, put something uh, here how to access this status um, mm -hmm. in call XML documentation there is there is an example I think um, call call option no such example there should be an example uh, oh, for, for on on set variable event type and event subtype for the event there is a concept subtype it is additional mm -hmm. any additional information about the event event type is um, Call failure. Uh, call failure, and subtype is um, stat status code. Ah, here is an example. On event call failure, uh, we can access uh, set status code from event subtype uh, variable event subtype and I do it in uh, in HTTP tester set it here event subtype and create a call and we see four four thousand huh and what do we see in CDR? Four bad requests. Why? Why was it bad re request? Invalid username. Um, so server responded with four thousand mm -hmm. or four hundred. Um, four hundred. And it was not five zero three because it requests for authorization. It was from previ previous session. The setting. Required okay. for it, it okay. requested a user username and password. There was no username, no password from client. Mm -hmm. Okay, I removed this and I make one more call and I get five zero three. Call failure. Yeah, five zero three. Yeah. Uh huh. And in CDR, I see this also. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, so this is basic thing to create a call uh, through web mm -hmm. API. Ne next, what what else we have in web API? We have a method to get CDR with all call details. Uh, CDR get calls JSON this thing it gets all the CDR fields with quality the delays uh, I think we we need to make one more successful call to, to server 
Mm -hmm. to have some measurements, I'll accept the call. Okay, we create uh, a call and on event answer there is event answer see if say this code is is two two hundred here and call result is call success and what uh, we wait for five seconds wait for five seconds and exit it is five seconds silent call after answer create mm -hmm. completed okay result is call success this is call good. success yeah. and we have some measurements measurements 200 yeah 200 uh we can access uh some rcp quality fields uh, mm -hmm. these, uh, called, called max incentivator in call XML and pass them after this, um, that'd be 15 seconds for good measurements, uh, more duration to capture packet loss, uh, to capture packet loss, there should be Mm, not small duration uh, packet loss can happen mm, I mean if I put five seconds I could not catch the packet loss uh, mm -hmm. during this short time and I increase it to 15 seconds uh, and what what I, I need to pass this measurement to Web API. How to get this measurement mm -hmm. in CDR? There is an element um, get RTP measurement, get RTP measurements, saves RTP quality indicators into call XML variables. This is what we need here mm -hmm. RTP measurements. Uh, statistics, uh, some, something else. We can pass zip header also, a remote zip header. Okay, we just copy example, get RTP measurements, uh, get RTP measurements, and it saves the co Ordering called. Oh, okay, we will pass uh, RTCP pa packet loss mm -hmm. to caller. <coughs> uh -huh. And how? using this variable also pass the results call results it is uh, RTCP packet lost caller uh, what means caller it, it is RTP stream from caller to destination Mm -hmm. uh, and destination is server, and and it means loss of packets. I put comments here. So, what color means? 
Yeah, it means color to color to cold RGB stream, and it means um, stream in this case stream received by server and uh, server reports it via RTC CP so it is a remote packet loss which is reported mm -hmm. by remote side by server and we can access it through RTCP RTCP is it's a good protocol to control quality RCP quality and parties color uh, color and cold they exchange quality uh, indicators through RTCP protocol uh, Uh, are you familiar what is RTCP in general? No? M most people yeah. d don't know about RTCP at all. But mm -hmm. it, it's very. I don't know why. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's not popular, but it, it's very power powerful. Yeah, it's very important mm. when it comes to testing, right? Yeah. yeah. No other way to get information about what is received by server uh, what mm -hmm. what is upstream uh, it is a upload mm -hmm. stream from client to server and server reports okay, server, I right. get this loss percent mm -hmm. and we have this information mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we report it to uh, web API uh, oh no we first wait uh, and measure RTCP, get RTP measurements and report uh, RTP packet loss. And it is in percent RTP packet loss in percent. Okay, done. And we make a test. Test it. Test. Ah, oh, what? An error. Cannot be less character. It's a wrong syntax. Let's see. Uh, it. It is bad syntax of this XML comment. Uh, it doesn't like these two dashes. No. Okay. Okay, create a call. Wait for 15 seconds. Yep. Some software developers can use this to extend their own monitoring system. They can run these API requests and measure quality and get the results to their side and uh, if quality is bad they do something uh, they send alert or generate a ticket in CRM mm -hmm. okay what do we see hold success but no RTCP packet load no that's is the uh, no loss is showing here. Uh -huh. But there should be should be something, right? About R T C P. Yes. What we see in uh, in C D R for R T C P color color packet loss. It it was zero. And uh okay, I don't I don't know what happened here and did it get to this statement in XML? Uh, that's why I um, put a log statement exactly same into XML into call, call XML 
uh, and what uh, after measurements j just to see d does it go to this line or not does it mm -hmm. go here create again and monitor log Uh, what? There is no call. It's requesting. Yes, call is running. It doesn't get get to this line. That's very mm -hmm. strange. Strange. After wait, ah, maybe I know what, <laughs> because it is aborted by server, and we can see it from duration uh, in in CDR. Um, there is answer duration. Select columns answered answered duration, and answered duration is eight seconds. Second, eight right? seconds. Oh, eight seconds. I said it myself. On, on server and it is not 15 oh, seconds uh, and I, I said it to maybe 60 uh, more than clients and okay uh, these kind of errors are common and it is very important to debug what happens in scripts using uh, this log, log statement without mm -hmm. logging it's not possible to develop yeah. Okay, create single request. Okay, wait for packet loss. Ah, oh, you see, it's reported zero. Yeah. Zero. Mm -hmm. No packet loss. No packet loss. Uh, and what about CDR? RTCP packet loss is zero, and RTCP caller. Uh, jitter, uh, let's also pass jitter for ex example. Okay. Uh, it is in log in coximal log. Uh, here is line caller. Oh. For example, round trip delay is important. Uh, it comes from RTCP also. Uh, RTCP uh, round trip delay. Oh, but we had packet loss from cold side. Uh, we can pass all these variables into web uh, into web API. Okay, and I will pass just a round trip delay, round trip time. Okay, I remove logging and I pass mm -hmm. uh, the RTT. Round trip delay. Uh, round trip type. RTCP. Time, round trip time. Uh, milliseconds. It is in milliseconds, and it is maximum for duration of call. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, during these fifteen seconds, what was maximum RTT? Peak. It, it, it is worst result during fifteen seconds. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, one more test. Similar API is available in SoftSwitch also. Uh, okay. If some web application needs to generate, just generate calls, not measure quality, but generate calls, uh, that can be, can be done. Uh, there can yeah, be from the API? From the API, yes. To create calls okay. 
this is for single mm -hmm. call and there are API methods for multiple calls to create call generator, stop call generator, like, like that. Okay, we see round trip mm -hmm. delay, round trip time, and no parking mm -hmm. loss. It is, it is not mm -hmm. correct name actually. RTP packet loss in it is RTCP upstream packet loss. It, it's not clear. Is it upstream or downstream? Mm -hmm. And for downstream, <coughs> downstream packet loss is called packet loss. Again, downstream yeah. packet loss. Yeah, there is, there is some packet loss. Yeah, there is downstream stream packet loss from this server and. It means that currently From, internet quality is bad, really. Yeah, this server, right? That uh, server you run test from. And we can make test mm -hmm. to one more server, uh, to many servers. Mm -hmm. uh, we can read these servers from database. Okay, we uh, let's go to next thing in to you know plan. Call XML overview. Uh, uh, we, we also, this is done. We access RTP quality um, mm -hmm. elements in Call XML. We can uh, request database, for example, which is also important. Uh, mm -hmm. You can read this server, for example, or port from database mm -hmm. in, co in Call XML. There's okay. an element read, not read, request, read, request db, executes some, it's not only MSSQL actually, it, it can be MySQL database, and it works mm -hmm. through uh, ODBC. ODBC driver. What is ODBC? It is like um, a library which tells to SIP tester how to connect to this database to MySQL database and send these requests. Uh, any request. And it it returns the results from database to into Call XML variable uh -huh. here. So this request DB makes a single database request. Okay. To, to get uh, call, caller uh -huh. ID or a server server. Server IP address. This is request. Very, uh, okay. Read. And there is also read DB. What's the difference to, between request and, and read DB? It, the read DB element um, requests multiple records, uh, like a list of numbers. Uh, may multiple rows one by one, and they are stored uh -huh. into um, into memory on, on SIP tester or so switch, and okay. uh, based on the results, you can make calls uh, from the database. Example, uh, read number from database. And make oh yeah yeah random number, number yeah uh, yeah feed number to uh, to the server yeah uh, make calls to the server uh, uh, mm -hmm. in this example yeah. we only read number uh, semicolon mm -hmm. is missing is uh, bad bad thing is connect in call XML is that 
Okay. It's very too easy to forget with semicolon <laughs> and. So uh, oh. Mm -hmm. You see, it, it's missing here, and I have to yeah. fix it. I write mm -hmm. down here to fix. Okay. Read DB uh, database inter uh, interconnection. Read number list. Okay, start from beginning just quickly. Um, a very quick overview. Accept. Mm -hmm. uh, it is answer to incoming call or early media. Mm -hmm. Accept. Mm -hmm. Malformer. It yeah. is for penetration tests. Uh, for penetration tests to to make server crash, it adds some mm -hmm. um, random um, and also defined by user uh, random changes into SIP packets into transmitted SIP packets to make server crash, and it also allow allows uh, repeating of transmitted packets like ACK also for mm -hmm. DOS attack and uh, free switch crashes uh, easily um, using well, it ca causes crash right yes I also want to mm. test C CP uh, and VoIP switch uh, Camelio, mm -hmm. uh, Camelio works stable, but uh, it overloads system log. System log. Uh, mm -hmm. It writes C parsing error into log, and the log crashes. Lo log overloads the server. Assign. It it is. It sets new variable, <coughs> new value to variable in call XML. Mm -hmm. It is like a. Uh, you define yeah, some we just variable, did it, like, yeah. define variable, mm -hmm. and you assign some values. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. This is a, an easy example. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, I understand. Uh, mathematic value is available here. Uh, multiply, mm -hmm. uh, what else? Uh, sinus. Uh, for example, to simulate. Uh, call load which changes over time uh, over um, hour of day to simulate a uh, peak hour and uh, low um, low volume at night uh, you can use sinus and you can define your formula to to change um, number of generated calls. It's mm -hmm. different. Uh, in it, it's in next element, set call generation parameter, set call, set call generation parameters here. Yeah, and here is an example. Okay, you see, uh, just sinus, it's an example. Mm -hmm. And it says, maximum concurrent calls into call generator that's needed for call generation okay next block we have used it all before to do some something if some condition mm -hmm. is met or if probability is uh, if probability happens do something randomly these internal elements are executed with probability 50%. This is block for r randomizing. Call is to make a call. We talk about it. Uh, call group. Uh, it is used for PBX. It is to implement PBX. Logic in PBX, not used in tests actually, not for tests. Okay. C case, mm -hmm. case and switch. Uh, switch mm -hmm. case. Uh, switch case are 
common element in any programming language. Mm -hmm. When you yeah, need right. to sw switch between uh, zip code, for example, switch, switch, where is switch? Switch, what is caller ID? Uh, and if it equals 111, you do something. Uh, when it equals mm -hmm. something, uh, just to have multiple checks I in a single switch. Mm -hmm. Value, and there is also a switch, what is, okay, switch case. It could be every case inside switch can have equals, starts with some prefix, uh, from it, it is to check integer values is it greater than or is it less than something and probability for every case mm -hmm. okay for example you uh, you use switch case and probability and mm -hmm. distribute uh, uh, logic across different uh, cases which are different test cases for example, 10% of uh, calls go to script number one, 20% uh, of calls to script number two, uh, different script, different server, uh, anything, uh, and so on. Okay. Uh, check time is general element for scheduling. When you need to check time, do something on this schedule and uh, do another thing when uh, when it, it's a different time. Uh, for example, we okay. is it is it work day? Uh, is it holiday? Uh, when <coughs> well, here's an example. Uh, check mm -hmm. time where and here number of calls uh, is. We assign default value for n calls, and on different mm -hmm. weekdays, uh, from this time to this this time, we set different value for number of calls. And after check mm -hmm. time, we modify call generation parameters in SIP tester in call generator. Uh, also in soft switch, uh, e dialer campaigns, you remember, um, for looped traffic, for mm -hmm. any call generator, I mean. Um, okay, next, conference. It is used for testing to simulate a PBX which has a conference inside. And it is also used, it could be used in, in soft switch or in IP PBX mm -hmm. when, just, uh, when soft switch runs as PBX to have some logic. People press one and uh, they are passed into uh, conference room and they hear each other. Mm -hmm. Also it is used for a call transfer uh, logic when um, there is a parameter direction. Audio between okay. script call and conference room. When you need to have um, a call agent and when you need uh, another supervisor and you when you need supervisor to listen to the call and to make him listening silently. In this case, mm -hmm. supervisor will connect to conference with direction equals uh, between zip code uh, send between zip code receive only with, uh, receive only direction and supervisor will only receive um, audio to control uh, control call agent and call agent and caller will not hear microphone of supervisor this kind of logic flexible okay conference next uh, default it's used in switch uh, when no case uh, ha is triggered 
no case, it goes to mm -hmm. default state. Also, default is similar to any programming language, C sharp, C plus uh, plus. DQ, uh, Q, this, this is used to have a Q concept in ColXML. You want to put something into Q, uh, something, I don't know what, uh, zip call ID, and you want to DQ and in a different zip call later, in Q mm -hmm. and DQ. Uh, the Q is a basic concept in programming, and uh, it allows us to use Qs in ColXML. Uh, USC registrations is for, uh, we mm -hmm. talked about it in previous sessions to disable. Disconnect mm -hmm. is, uh, okay, it's clear, I think. Terminate. Terminate zip call, but continue execution of ColXML. Uh, does not terminate execution. Disconnect, yeah. You want to do mm -hmm. something after zip call. For example, you want to run some Windows exe file, some command line. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. run, it's here, run, uh, run process. It's another powerful thing. Uh, or you want to send uh, HTTP request after completion of call. Uh, Okay, disconnect just to terminate call and continue script. Mm -hmm. Dynamic, it, it is for, it makes sense for GSM termination, not for SIP tester, but that's not for this session. I mean, if else okay. it makes sense, uh, mm -hmm. if something, uh, Uh, we'll continue with it. Okay. Else and Q is for Q. Exec parses and execute. It executes the external from my variable. Uh, it is dangerous thing. It al uh, it allows some. <coughs> it allows you to execute string or variable as a call XML. Uh, okay. And people who do, who use SIP tester should think about security, not to execute some untrusted tests. Mm -hmm. So it execute, executes the code. Yeah, similar to eval in JavaScript. Mm -hmm. Exit, terminate, zip. Terminate yeah. yeah, exit CLI. When SIP tester is running in command line code, it is same mm -hmm. as what we talked about today. Mm -hmm. It is like a set exit code, uh, set results for web API. A exit CLI puts SIP, uh, uh, it, it is one integer code for command line result, exit CLI. Okay, function. There are functions or subroutines. This concept is also common in every in every programming language. There are functions, subroutines, used to group calls. There is some function, mm -hmm. and there can be a library of functions, and the library can be included using uh, include include. There is also include. Mm -hmm. <coughs> including concept is also common for programming languages. Include library. Uh, what else? Uh, get, get audio file length, file length. Uh, clear from name, I think. Get call generation param. Get current. Uh, get current call generator parameters. Okay, I think clear? Yeah. Okay, get call information. What What's here? Codec, it gets information about codec, current codec. Okay. If we need to access codec, 
mm -hmm. and do something based on on this codec. Report codec mm -hmm. to uh, whatever. Mm -hmm. CDR calls count. Okay, that 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 that's clear. Get hash. Hash. Programmers should know what it is. Get hash of string. Uh, we needed it some time long ago for some script. Uh, RTP. We talked about it today. RTP measurements. Yeah. To get currently measured uh, statistics quality indicators. Statistics mm -hmm. about process calls. In, this is general statistics. What is total number of answered calls? And it comes from a report statistics screen from this screen. And this okay. screen can be saved to also to XML file, for example. And it can be accessed using the, the elements. And, and also reset, yep. yeah, I see. Yes, statistics, mm -hmm. yes, string length, uh, number of characters in variable. And it, I think it, it's clear. This is a um, specific thing for, um, well, tip tester is used for aviation um, companies by companies who develop software for airports, airplanes, and there is such standard EG137. It is specific, and they have extension, um, RTP header extension. It makes sense for them. Uh, very narrow area in, in SIP testing. Mm -hmm. Go to is same, it is, Concept from any programming language. We execute yeah. elements and we jump to some line. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it jumps to some uh, line in code to, to block. Yeah, so you can pick in the middle and uh, go to the whatever, whatever, like it directs to. to. Whatever. Yeah. In mm -hmm, mm -hmm. HTML. Yeah. If if I think it's clear, if it something, common. if call exists, if current call exists by mm -hmm. uh, caller mm -hmm. ID, call ID, uh, it is used. For example, mm -hmm. when you receive call, you check: Do we already have mm -hmm. current call to caller call ID or, or to caller ID? And you need to make sure that only unique. Color color numbers uh, exist are accepted. Mm. Okay, uh, uh, this is used for general purpose. All these elements, uh, it's like uh, uh, we are building blocks, construction elements for a any kind of logic. Mm -hmm. And it is easy to extend these elements. In our framework, that's good. If conference exists by by ID of conference, okay, include and read and execute another XML file. Import functions from included file. That that is, uh, you can have a folder with scripts or with parameters, and you can include them. Um, okay. Input digits is it, like uh, please enter pin code. Is it, it, it is for things mm -hmm. like that? Yeah. The input digits. Uh, DT, DT, uh, like to thing. simulate PBX or uh, simulate IVR or to implement mm -hmm. IVR in soft switch. Uh, input speech. Uh, it is for mm -hmm. soft switch actually, and it you yeah. it uses Google API. Mm -hmm. To recognize uh, uh, audio, okay. and it, it needs API key uh, from Google uh, to make it work. Log, it, it is for debugging, we're talking about it. 
much. Mm-hmm. Blue back blows uh, is we tell you about it. Measure sig- mm-hmm. signal, minimum and maximum signal of received RTP stream. Uh, it is audio processing thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, when someone needs to measure what is loudness of remote audio, uh, and they measure maximum level, Mm-hmm. And uh, based on that, they do something in ColXML uh, after that. Uh, maybe save to CDR. I don't know. Uh, moving average. Moving average, get good reset. This is concept from um, trading. Mm-hmm. Um, do you know what is moving? When you need to. Uh, I'm, I'm not. It is con- concepts from ACD, for example, average call duration. It is average okay, okay. of previous 10 values, for example. Okay. Uh, uh, or ASR, uh, average uh, answer That's failure ra- ratio. You need to mm-hmm. calculate some average from previous N values, uh, any values. Mm-hmm. And size. Mm-hmm. What is number of values for the averaging? Mm-hmm. An example. Uh, sample XML script. An example. Uh, making a pause in a test if the destination server fails. It is for monitoring screen. Mm-hmm. Call setup. Uh, it measures uh, moving aver- me- measures average for previous 100 calls. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, first, it puts values into moving average one or zero with size okay. 100, and it measures audio. Mm-hmm. Not uh, not audio. It measures uh, ASR here okay and it gets the uh, it is called here call setup ratio it, actually ASR well and it writes yeah, it's it's ASR, yeah. and mm-hmm. based on uh, this CSR it does different things if it is less mm-hmm. than 60 it runs this code. Sixty percent. So see, it means mm-hmm. that uh, about forty forty recent calls of one hundred failed. We stop call mm-hmm. generator and wait for twenty seconds mm-hmm. and start again. And we can also send email here. So uh, mm-hmm. we got some problem. In previous example, we did single. Uh, when call fails, we send email immediately. And this example mm-hmm. makes 100 calls, and it doesn't send email mm-hmm. immediately. So it, it could be very, very mm-hmm. complex uh, the test. Uh, and uh, mm-hmm. the size of XML is not big, and it's, it's a compact language. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, mo- moving average. Uh, used for many purposes. Okay, on it handles events. Uh, and there are events, what? What kind of events? When call is answered, mm-hmm. when call is failed, when DTMF is received from a remote side, mm-hmm. system error, okay, hang up after answer. When uh, you should handle hang up events when you expect. <laughs> remote side to leave c- connection on uh, and when the call is dropped it, it it's a failed test and you should handle a hang up event cancelled uh, well when received cancelled yeah. yeah yeah it is for incoming script uh, when you don't expect any cancel uh you should handle uh, well depending on your logic idle media it's also one more important thing. When destination 
server or when the phone hangs when when it crashes mm -hmm. and uh, when um SIP connection is alive, no SIP updates, uh, but RCP disappears. There is no audio, and it's like it becomes a silent call. In this case, mm -hmm. wait for this timeout, idle media time. It is in settings, uh, idle media time, and it ends. It ends the call and raises the the event. And if you are interested in such case in your test, you should handle this event and uh, do something, uh, whatever. Okay, maximum ring time, uh, uh, timeout. Mm -hmm. When the call is not answered within uh, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, uh, mm -hmm. PR, it is provisional response. What what means provisional? You already know? Provisional? Provisional response in SIP. Mm -hmm. It's 100 okay, um, your early media. The trying, you mean? Uh, I mean, in SIP. In SIP. Mm -hmm. uh, in CDR, when you go to SIP trace, very after invite okay. here comes trying this is provisional trying, yeah yeah and there could be yeah yeah that's something like a 100 uh, is trying right session ah? 100 is trying right 100 is trying yes it is always standard yeah. in SIP. Mm -hmm. and there could be 183 uh ringing mm -hmm. uh or se session progress and you can handle 183 right. and play some audio uh, to destination. Okay, okay. Okay, reinvite when you receive reinvite. Sip info, uh, DTMF can go over sip info. Rarely. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it depends on configuration. Recognizing a voice command from uh, this is from speech recognition transferred uh, okay this is for refer oh okay on params parameters there could be some parameters like server mm -hmm. name destination host name for port uh, and when you want to declare the parameters explicitly in the beginning of script and use the parameters later in script, mm -hmm. like yeah. host name, username, uh, password, uh, you can yeah. declare using params. Mm -hmm. Okay, for, these are parameters. To make ColXML look organized and they can be included in the call XML. When the script by itself doesn't contain password, uh, mm -hmm. when it doesn't contain password, it only contains a reference to parameters, and the passwords and the usernames yeah. are in, uh, in included call XML file. That's okay. better for security. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, next. Uh, Perform a. This is for soft switch actually, not for SIP test. Soft switch, yeah. No. Okay, play audio, mm -hmm. play web MP3 file. It can play mm -hmm. web file from from some web server, from URL. There could be um, the audio files can be stored on some web server. When a um, customer uses SIP tester on many machines, mm -hmm. uh, on uh, cloud servers, it's not good to copy audio files to every machine. And they can use URLs uh, to reference web file. And the web file is mm -hmm. downloaded to uh, SIP tester and play it from memory. Uh, for the mm -hmm. next call, it will not download it again. Uh, uh, and 
all audio files are stored in uh, memory uh, operating uh, in operating system RAM I mm -hmm. mean, uh, to access it faster when uh, next for the next call and there is a button to reset audio file cache uh, it is where it is settings uh, it is mm, Clear file cache. Here's the button to re reset all cached or audio files. On and included uh, XML files are also cached to save uh, CPU time. It is needed. Okay, play DTMF when you want to simulate DTMF transmission. Okay. Okay. Uh, Uh, play it in. Read CSV file. Uh, read CSV yeah. is a basic element for dialers. When you generate mm -hmm. calls, uh, you read numbers from CSV, or you read usernames, you read passwords. Uh, it could be an URL also. It could be read yeah. from some, some web server company web server and it uh, saves the red uh, value into variable call XML and the variable is used after that to make a call okay it is downloaded once and the cache in memory is used again and again for next call to save performance uh, it is possible to to have it repeating multiple times, uh, repeat by default is one. When CSV file is over, it is repeated again and again. Uh, if you set it to infinite, mm -hmm. uh, skip headers, there are some. It is possible you set it to true or false. So, um, what else? Row index. Uh, you can set the in. Uh, you can specify what row to read explicitly. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you want to specify the order of reading uh, yourself in XML, based on some different logic, there is also mode sequ sequential or random. Mode of reading rows uh, from CSV. Okay, okay, okay. Read DB is same thing, but not from CSV. Yeah, database. For for database. Uh, it, 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 API, same right? thing for for number list. A number list is a concept from SoSwitch system, mm -hmm. uh, and we will work uh, on uh, what uh, for. Uh, it is used for dialer campaigns. Um, just an element in framework, our framework. Mm -hmm. Okay, receive facts is receive facts and send facts uh, are used to send. Okay, you already know in SIP it is possible to send facts. Okay. Did you know? No, I I actually didn't know. Actually, so, uh, you can send you facts. No, if, if you uh, if you work with SIP. Uh, uh, the facts. What is mm -hmm. facts in SIP? It means that uh, call is established and it is connected, and some oh, okay, okay, yeah. caller or the destination it presses a button to. Uh, okay, I send a fact or I receive facts, mm -hmm. and in SIP it looks like re-invite, re-invite. Mm -hmm. um, with parameter uh, with a new session description mm -hmm. uh, with uh, information about fax stream T3. Mm -hmm. It also goes over uh, RTP like like what it, it goes over UTP mm -hmm. sorry over UTP but it's not RTP. It is a different protocol 
UDP transfer, transports layer and there is a standard in RFC for that. Fax. Okay. And you can test mm -hmm. fax in SIP, uh, in SIP test or receive fax or send. And it's not widely used because fax is fax. Faxes are, it is fast, actually. It's not future. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay. It is email, but faxes are mm -hmm. used in some old school organizations. Yeah, yeah. But it, it is still needed, and I wonder why is yeah, it still like, used. Like office clerks and every, everything, like the government office, they use fax mostly. Mm -hmm. Okay, record call. When you want to turn off recording at some point in ColXML, you start recording, mm -hmm. stop recording, or conference. Record call. When it is not clear what happened in script, you start recording and you, you stop recording. And you listen to recorded audio and you understand what happens. Uh, what happens here? It, 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 what the audio quality and you listen to yourself in, from web file. A record message it is for for PBX functionality, not, not for testing. A redirect it is sending three zero two. It is rejection. Uh, it is like okay. a rejection, a re reject. Uh, this is for incoming calls processing. Mm -hmm. And you can reject with um, some SIP status code, 503, mm -hmm. this is B. And or you BB, can yeah. put some, okay. any SIP header into rejected. Um, yeah, the reason, like I can put anything, whatever, like. And like, it uh, goes to SIP headers. Uh, Deep headers are here um, in packets. It is also possible to put any SIP header into uh, into outgoing call in call elements. Okay. Uh, rejection, rejection. I mean, when you generate call using call uh, this element, you can also put SIP uh, header, any SIP header. Uh, very many other. We didn't talk about it, but um, yeah, it's powerful. You can you can mm -hmm. specify local SIP address. You can have multiple SIP addresses on a single server, mm -hmm. and you can set local SIP address when you generate a call and when you re receive a call also. Uh, okay. Okay. We didn't talk about it. Okay. Okay. It's a brief overview, not, not a full overview. Yeah, yeah it's a lot of things to, like, um, if you want to explain, it's going to take, like, a long time. Yeah, 1.43, uh, 43 minutes already, 1 hour, 43 minutes. Yeah. But uh, I want to finish. Yeah. Uh, okay. What, reject, uh, reject. Reinvite, reject. Yeah, reject is Thing, yeah. uh, the re regular exp expressions when you need to analyze some syntax, uh, polarizing mm -hmm. for format, when you need to uh, analyze caller ID and cold ID or whatever, or SIP header when you need to analyze and parse some mm -hmm. header for syntax, mm -hmm. regular expressions. Sense register, okay, send reinvite. It can change codec, the reinvite, mm -hmm. or it, it can put call on hold, uh, change the direction, media direction, and it could change RTP address. Reinvite is mm -hmm. um, changing parameters of current media uh, stream. Okay, replace stream. Okay, good. Uh, report. It, is, it saves the report to uh, report statistics screen to that report statistics. 
there are standard indicators, confidence uh, standard RTCP. These are custom RTCP headers and reports mm -hmm. saves the, the measurements into the same uh, screen, uh, into mm -hmm. this screen, uh, to calculate average, maximum, uh, and percentiles, and to generate a chart for this report and you can put anything into the report mm -hmm. okay okay request db it's exec we already talked about it request db uh reset statistics results moving averages good restart process it restarts some windows process for example if you test so switch some source switch on the same server, on local host, you test mm -hmm. source switch. And if it doesn't respond, you can restart process. Uh, you can restart some process. Mm -hmm. Source switch process. If you test some source switch on the same server, Windows server, uh, voice switch uh, or whatever, run. Uh, it generates one more XML script inside run. So mm -hmm. it is one more XML script. I mean, uh, one more call. There could be many, many uh, included uh, and generated XML sessions, like secondary sessions. When a call is received, and at some point, you need to generate one more call and one more call, or 100 calls, you use run and one more call in one session. Because in one session, you can have only mm -hmm. one, um, only one call. Okay. okay. Run function uses the function. We talked about functions before. Run process runs bad file from current server. Something you can run. And it is dangerous from security point, point of view. EXE file runs non channel script. Uh, used for source switch. Okay. This is C. It is text to speech. Text to speech is available. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, just go quickly. Search for a random file in folder. When you play some random random recording, uh, random. Uh, send email to send email notification from call XML. Uh, send event, uh, well, send event and wait for event. They are used to synchronize different call XML sessions. Mm -hmm. When you need to synchronize audio verification for that mostly. And event uh, just general facts okay we talk about it HTTP when you want to call any API from uh, some web server it's an HTTP request deep in four Deep in four is used for some custom zip extension. Uh, okay, send zip message. Uh, it is used to send just zip message without any zip call, yeah, and there could be different uh, some. Absolutely uh, um, different data. So, mm -hmm. uh, but you can take zip call ID from current call. Okay. Zip message. Send zip request. Uh, used to send. Uh, 
SIP request for the current SIP call. So for current SIP call, we on current invite dialog. Okay, send spoof to UDP. Is it for security test, administration test? Your, your voice is not clear. No. Uh, voice is not good. Uh, and now? No, uh, yeah, now it's okay. I hear a bad uh, audio from your side. Um, I mean, okay. the echo. Probably the internet, I think. Mm. Um, okay, but I still hear you, but I hear voice. Okay. Uh, set call generator parameters. We talked about it. Set access code for command line interface. Uh, set mm -hmm. environment parameters. This is for RTP loss simulation. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. We also talked about it in previous sessions. Yeah, yeah. And it is available for ColXML. When you want to simulate some RTP jitter or packet loss from ColXML, okay. mm -hmm. uh, set interval. Okay. When you want to do something every one second. Do something every mm -hmm. one second. You use set interval. Yeah. Inter this is setting the inter interval. Yeah. Same thing in JavaScript. You want to send yeah. DTMF every every second. You want to mm -hmm. uh, start playing audio every second or uh, whatever. Mm -hmm. That RTP extension uh, that is for EZ137 uh, test, custom test RTP. It is meant to crash FIP server for penetration testing. It is for RTP DOS attack. I mean, mm -hmm. RTP T modified transmitted. It, it changes the SSRC timestamp sequence. Okay. Um, typo. Okay. Setting. It, it said global setting value. Mm -hmm. Okay, set timeout. When you need to execute something after some time. So some time, yeah. After answer, you want to wait 16 sec 60 seconds. And you want to execute something 60 seconds, exactly 60 after answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. UAC, this is for UAC extensions for we talked about this for about UAC registrations to change them yeah. to call XML. Set mm -hmm. web API results. We talked about it today. Random engine generator. Okay, that's okay, okay, start call generator. Good. Make it clear. Stop audio. Stop audio is used to stop audio which is previously started asynchronously. Uh, when play audio is used before, and we need to stop audio in script. Okay. Stop call generator. Stop string. When we need to. Uh, what? From caller ID, we need to remove first uh, plus character. We use substring from star index one, for example. Okay, switch throw to raise an event. Okay, okay, transfer. It is logic of so switch uh, mm -hmm. to generate a yeah. call leg B yeah. and to connect these calls, the logic of IPPBX and um, a soft switch, but it also mm -hmm. it is also used to send refer. Uh, it is refer SIP signal for transfer. Mm -hmm. uh, it is used when mode is blind. Blind mode is sends refer. Okay. Next 
saying, the right example. Verify audio, we talked about it. Wait, just silence, introduce a delay with silence. Uh, okay, next, next thing, wait. Um, <coughs> wait for event. Um, it is used in combination with send event. Uh, when another session send event, and you mm -hmm. you synchronize call XML script uh, send event. Uh, wait for ringback tone. It analyzes only ringback tone uh, audio. Okay, to to validate the strong. When mm -hmm. there must be ringtone and you don't receive ringtone, you can build uh, some tests, you know, in ColorXML for ringback tone testing. Uh, ringback tone absence, when ringback tone disappears, um, it also processes audio signal. Okay, uh, wait for silence, also about audio signal processing. When you generate call, for example, you wait for answer, the call is answered, and uh, mm -hmm. um, you play DTMF to IVR, and you wait okay. for signal, wait for uh, IVR audio, and after that, you don't know duration of IVR, you wait for silence in IVR. Yeah. The IVR finishes and you, you wait for silence and do something after. Uh, wait for uh -huh. signal. Uh, uh, Use for this test also. Okay, okay. Uh, write CDR, save some variable to CDR custom field. We talked about it. And it also goes to reports in report statistics with a chart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Write file, just general writing to file to generate okay, yeah, yeah. custom CSP report, for example. Uh, here, here. When you need to generate like uh, test file, uh, test results mm -hmm. with uh, succeeded uh, calls and failed calls. This is an example. So you just write uh, uh, some variables into the mm -hmm. file and it is written and it is completed by intervals. To avoid having a very, very big file, you can split the okay. file. Okay, okay. This, this is XML. This is XML. I, mm -hmm. In brief. Uh, your your voice is not clear again. Uh, I can hear you. Oh, oh okay. N now can you? Uh, so mm, no, I cannot hear. Uh, sorry, sorry. Maybe internet is bad. Um, uh, okay, let's finish now. Uh, finish the recording, and I think that maybe that's enough. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, tomorrow.